This might well be the last video that we have in this house. We are packed up and ready to move. As you can see, our living room is empty except for some wires because our phone is still hooked up. The kids because we can't pack them up. And some stuff by the door. Gloves and hats and all that stuff. Now if everything goes smoothly, our closing will be on Thursday, the 27th. And right after closing, we're on the road, we're done. So we're handing over possession on Thursday. So we have to have this house empty and ready to hand over. And that's what we've done. We've been packing up everything. So Sold a whole bunch of stuff. I'll show you what's left. I'll show you what we've been doing for our living conditions and um, show you the garage and all that stuff. So let's take a walk around. So you guys wondered what we were going to sleep on if we got rid of our bed. So we got rid of our mattresses. We're going to move super light. And instead we're sleeping on these rollout mats which have been working for the time being. And we'll end up getting a new bed eventually in our new home. Yep. And Belle also has a mat. We have our duffel bags for our clothing. Here's the kids room. Belle also has her mat rolled out. Maverick keeps his, his mattress. That's the same mattress that was in his crib. And he does really good sleeping on that. Sometimes he rolls over into Belle's bed. <laughs> and that's it, the room is empty. So, how's it been in an empty house? Perfect. I don't really notice a difference. Still cozy without the couch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so speaking of couch, yeah. A lot of you guys have wondered how we're gonna sit without a couch. Well, we just sit on the floor. And that's actually really common for us. We sit on the floor quite a bit, even with the couch. Yeah. And that's the other thing is people said, well, how are you gonna eat without a table? Well, to be honest, way before we got rid of our table, we stopped using it. We actually enjoyed just having a picnic. So we, sit in kind of a circle and just eat on the floor. Yep. And it's totally fine with us. So the table was actually not a big loss for us because we actually weren't using it at all. We for just, a long time, yeah. like months. It's just, I don't yeah. know, we do things a little unconventionally. We just like to hang out and, and just have a little relaxed, informal yep. picnic when we eat. It is surprisingly beautiful out today for December, so that is good that we're be, going to be moving on a relatively nice pretty warm weather. Um, let's open up the garage and show how clean that is. You know, we've always struggled with keeping the garage clean. Look at that. Pretty much all of this is staying here. Yep. Um, we're probably not going to take the mower. I don't see a way to take it. We don't need the ladders right now. And that's just paint and stuff from the house. So, yep, empty. And we've already packed up the cars. Those are all set. Mm -hmm. We're ready to go. So we've managed to do it. We got everything cleaned out. Ashley has killed it on the selling. All of this is really because of her because she listed every single thing that we had to sell online dealt with all the comments, all the emails. Setting up times, mm -hmm. all So of it. everything is good. And she even got rid of all this trash through online, the, all the, the extra stuff that was yeah. left over. Our pile that we had, we, we said $20 takes the whole pile and somebody came and got it and gave yeah. us 20 bucks. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta do that to get it out of here. We are running out of time, but she did it. So we're good. We're so excited to be finally moving. Not only are we moving, but we're also heading into the end of the year. And I thought like, what a great time to talk about this year. A look back. We try not to look back. I always like to look forward. I look to what's ahead. I hate looking back. But we have to take a moment to appreciate what happened this year that brought us to this moment. It's crazy. Yeah. One year ago, we were selling our house. In Kokomo. In desperation because we were in a really tight spot financially and we just couldn't live in the city any longer. We just had to make a change in our life and that led us to this property. 
And when we bought this place, we had no idea we would be moving again <laughs> no. already. It's insane. We just like to just go with the flow. We always say that. We felt right about this place. We said, let's do this. And honestly, it was the only place available that was fitting our needs for that time. We have no regrets. It has been awesome. And it's going to get us a better property that we could have never dreamed of owning. Yeah. It was definitely a good stepping stone for us. It's unfortunate that we didn't get to work on the schoolhouse. That part I totally understand. But it's just not in our plans right now. It just didn't work out that way. We're happy to be moving forward. But like this year has been huge for us. We got so much done. We've learned so much. I mean, we bought this place and we cleared an acre and a half by hand of yep. full grown in field. Using loppers, reciprocating saw, lawnmower, we chainsaw. We worked on the mobile home for our first time. We lived in a mobile home and we actually learned a lot about mobile homes and that was kind of a cool experience for me. Yep. I like working, I like working on houses and building and stuff. So I've never worked on a mobile home and it is a little bit different. Um, but a lot more simple than you'd think. Yeah, like the windows are so easy to put in with yeah. the tacky tape. So we... We fixed up the barn. We grew our YouTube channel substantially. Yeah. Every Just so many things happened this year that was just yeah. amazing. It was such a cool year. When we moved here, we were at like 6,000 subscribers. Mm -hmm. So now we're at... Close to 32,000. Yep. It's amazing. Yeah, the barn. Just everything. We did so much here. We learned so much. And behind the scenes, we've been doing a lot of studying about what animals we want, different breeds of chickens, different, I mean, everything from sheep, goats, cows, everything, just reading, learning, taking it in, learning about gardening. Um, you know, we know so much, but we don't have a lot of hands-on experience. We haven't had a chance to, to implement it. do it. So it gives us a chance to really just keep our minds open and learn new things. And we've been do doing that a lot. So it's been like a crazy year where we've just been going and busy and, and just every day is unexpected and we never know what's going to happen. And about halfway through the year, we really felt the need to move on because we felt that we weren't happy with the property. We weren't happy with the noise. The property is awesome. The main problem started with the road. Yeah. It's just a constant loud hum. And we knew that moving in that there was a highway here but we didn't know how it would affect us mentally. Because we've never lived around something like that before. And also how much it would affect our videos. You guys wouldn't believe how much video we had to get rid of because the highway is so loud, it's just obnoxious to li listen to it. Yeah, especially when we face the camera towards it, it's like really annoying. So we made the decision, we committed, and we are very goal oriented. So we, if we have a goal, we just push, we just get it done. And that's what pushed us into getting the mobile home ready. We never intended to do that is to redo the mobile home. No. We did that so we could sell it and feel good about it and make some profit. It just all worked out awesomely. And that's one of the things you gotta remember is don't get yourself stuck in a rut and feel trapped. I know sometimes you really can be trapped and that's mm -hmm. the worst feeling in the world. But think outside of the box and if you don't feel happy with what you're doing or where you're at, look outside the box and think, what do I need to do to make my life better? Mm -hmm work towards it do it commit to it that's what we've done for years you might have to sacrifice you might have to give up some stuff we certainly have but in the end it's gonna be so worth it and we're excited to be moving to a better property that we Can't hope, wait to show you we hope that we love it so much more than this now before we wrap this up i wanted to talk about why we chose to do this extreme downsizing where we just got rid of everything we owned. We got rid of our couch, our table, our beds, our furniture, just everything. Everything's gone and I know we've had a lot of questions and we've tried to kind of explain it here and there, but I'm hoping we can go into it a little bit deeper, piece by piece and explain our thoughts mm -hmm. behind it because this is good for us, but it's not necessarily good for everybody. If you guys um, are looking to move, you might not want to downsize the way we are doing it and we're not trying to influence anybody in that yeah. way. It's just what works for us right now. The number one reason that we got rid of everything is because we want a fresh start. And I can't stress that enough that we don't believe that 
possessions, items, material things necessarily carry energy, but they certainly carry memories and emotions that can affect how you feel. And sometimes it's good to just get rid of stuff, especially stuff that you've had for too long, so that you can start fresh and have something that, that doesn't have any attachments. It's just new. That's just how we feel. Yeah. It's a fresh start. <clears throat> we want to move light also. Moving light is important to us because mentally it's easier. Um, the house we're moving into will need work. And that means the more stuff we bring is going to be the more stuff in the way. Yeah. Making it harder to work on the house. You have to like shuffle everything from room to room. We have done that. Boxes from here to there <laughs> to here to there. And it's annoying. We decided to keep it really light. So whatever fits in the vehicles, that's all that's coming with us. A lot of you guys have said, but won't it cost more to replace stuff than to just move it with you? It depends. It depends on what you have and what you're moving. If you guys have brand new um, bedroom sets or something that you spent hundreds of dollars on, yeah, you're going to lose money on it. You're going to lose money and it'd be better off keeping it or bringing it with you if you like it. The number one thing is that nothing in our house really had any sentimental attachment to us. It's just stuff we got. It wasn't our style. We didn't like it. It's it was not... just stuff we found at like thrift stores and stuff. Yeah, and it wasn't expensive. So there was no like burden to keep it. We didn't buy anything like for a lot of money. Everything's yeah. pretty cheap. And what I said about not fitting our style is that when we move into this house, we want it to be a long-term stay. I don't know if it's our forever home, but it's certainly going to be our long-time home. Mm -hmm. We want it to feel comfortable to us, so we're going to try to make it our own style. And the pieces of furniture we had, or had, didn't fit into that style. No. They wouldn't go with what we want to achieve in our home. So it was okay to let go of them. Now about our mattresses. If you look up online the average lifespan of a mattress, it's eight years. Believe it or not, they can last longer, but the average lifespan is eight years. And our mattress was eight years old. So our mattress has been with us for eight years and we've used it. It's... We took good care of it. We just... Doug doesn't find it comfortable. I really never found it comfortable. And we haven't been like super happy with it. Yeah. And since it's eight years old and it's toward the end of its lifespan, we figure why move with it? and then have to get rid of it at our new house because we're going to have to buy a new one eventually anyway. So we thought, might as well take the opportunity to get rid of it now and not have to be hassled with moving an eight-year-old mattress. Yeah. When I listed that online, I probably had about 50 people wanting it. It's crazy. Yeah. That was unexpected. A lot of people, that's good. Somebody else can use it and hopefully they like it better than we did. It wasn't terrible. I just prefer a firmer mattress than it was. Yeah. So that's why we got rid of the mattresses. They were old and we just didn't like them. The same with Bell's. Uh, it was a cheap mattress. Cheap, cheap. And again, it's many years old. Mm -hmm. It's just due for a new one. That's fine. The dressers that we had here, we bought it a, a second hand. So we had a dresser for Bell's room and that was under $40. It was like $30 something, $36 or something. And we sold it for $50. Mm -hmm. So we made money on that after using it while we were yeah. here. You can't go wrong with that. There's no point in really for us to move a $36 dresser that we don't really care about. And also our white nightstands. We bought those for like $20 a piece and we sold them and made a profit. Yep. So. The, uh, we had another dresser that we had in our living room for storage. And we bought that for like thirty some dollars, I think, twenty or thirty dollars. We sold that for forty. So we've made profit on piece after piece of furniture because we bought it so cheap. We looked for good deals. So we didn't have too much time to sell our furniture and things. So we wanted to put kind of like low prices on them so that we can guarantee that they sell. Because sometimes you can like list something and nobody wants it for weeks. Yeah, and we really were in crunch time because. Even though it seems like we sold prematurely, we still have a few days. With the Christmas holidays, nobody's going to be buying and selling stuff online. Nobody's yeah. going to care about buying our used furniture. So we knew we had to get it done that first week. We had two weeks to move. We had to get it done in that first week or we're going to be stuck on with stuff. And so Ashley really just pushed it out, got it done, sold everything 
And we feel really good with the money that we made and the prices we sold stuff for, some more, some less. But again, that's why we decided to downsize. Nothing we had had any value to us. And it's just not wor worth moving with and we We're just want a whole new style in our new home. Yeah, so it made sense for us and I hope that makes sense for you guys to understand where we're coming at. If we had really nice pieces of furniture or pieces that we loved, we might have yeah. double thought it, think it through a little bit further, but... Um, We've had some people ask how we do so well at selling stuff. Basically, Facebook groups is where it's at. <laughs> Facebook and never hold something for somebody. There are so many people who say, I want it, and they never come and get it. Mm-hmm. It's especially annoying after you give them your address, and then, like, you're waiting for them, they don't show up or whatever. So just tell people... No holds. No holds. Whoever gets it, you know, be careful who you give your address out to, and just find somebody who's serious. We wait until they say, I can get it now, and then we give our address. Basically, yeah. Because we've, seen, we've had so many unreliable people. So that's all we have for today. That is everything explained, I hope. So Thursday is this closing date, and we don't know when we're going to be getting internet at the new house, so we don't know when our next video will be. That is a good point. We thought we were going to have internet lined up to be installed, but we ran into some problems at the new property. We're not sure how long, but we'll try to keep you up to date if we have to. We'll, we'll try to find a Wi-Fi spot somewhere just to get online and post an update. Yeah, so look on our community page or our Facebook or something, I don't know. Yeah. So we appreciate you guys watching and following along. We are so excited to move. We're, we just hope the closing goes well and the trip goes well. The vehicles are packed up. Now we're just going to camp out for a couple days and just see see what happens. So like we said, we don't know when our next video is going to be up but we'll probably be at our next house. Yeah. And that will be cool. So we look forward to seeing you guys there. Until next time, take care. Bye.